years ago, A.K. Shukla of Kanpur was planning to buy a scooty for his daughter, but Covid struck. With a lockdown in place, he gave up the plan. Now after two years, when his daughter again insisted on buying a scooty, Mr. Shukla went to the showroom to check out the deals. But he was shocked when he heard the price. The scooty which was available for 60,000 rupees two years ago was now for rupees 80,000. The salesman added that prices may increase again. For two years, due to Corona, there was no demand. Then what pushed the prices up? The answer to this question is the rise in the prices of raw materials. Metals are used heavily in making scooty and other vehicles. There has been a huge jump in the prices of metals during the last two years. Steel prices have risen by more than 50%, copper by over 77% and aluminium and nickel prices have nearly doubled. Metals are not only used for making vehicles, but also in consumer durable goods like fridge, AC and washing machine. The companies producing all such goods have also announced price hikes due to cost pressures. Metals are also used in making TVs, laptops and mobiles. That is, buying an AC and fridge in summer will be expensive. Simultaneously, the prices of mobiles and laptops may also increase. Not only this, metals like steel, copper, aluminium are also used in the construction of houses, shops, buildings and other infrastructure. That is, the increased prices of metals can increase the cost of construction which will put a burden on the pocket. Covid is also the reason for the cost of metals. Earlier, the supply was affected due to lockdown worldwide. And now, as the business is resuming, the demand has revived all over the world. For a country like India, the problem intensified as there is dependence on imports for metals. Except steel, the major requirement of most of the metals is met by imports. If prices increase at a global level, then India will have to buy expensive goods. Now the question is, how long will this haunt us? Its answer lies in the increase in prices. According to experts, shortage of supply is a root cause and until the shortage is over, the problem will persist. Kedia Advisory Director Ajay Kedia believes that supply conditions will normalize after June and the prices will fall only after that. IIFL Vice President Anuj Gupta says prices are unlikely to fall until April. After April, there is a possibility of improvement in supply which will help in reducing the prices. In conclusion, higher metal prices may pester you for a long time.